3-16-2013, we have before us a weekly chart on LinkedIn. The last quarterly report, when we started out January 2013, LinkedIn was kicking on all cylinders and we got to a multi-year high of 184 on a weekly level. And because we're overbought, LinkedIn is going to come down. We had the 185 puts. It got to 585 for calendar 3, 22 of 2013 on the 185 put. And that when we hit 85, we traded up. They have a $1.60 range. But now, because of the overbought levels of this great bull, is, is that we're going to pull back and we're going to use the put side. This is where the earnings started. The up move right here was a huge up move and LinkedIn broke out on that weekly level to multi-year highs on this weekly and we're overbought and there is going to be a pullback. We will trade this intraday just as we always do. You can see where the weekly sell was up here on top of this weekly wick, MMT. So the minute that we hit our price target close to 185, we shot right back down and at 174. So there's a $10 range from that 174 to that 184 and same thing. 184, we can come right back down here. And when I take a look at these two weekly bars for my MMTs and what they're trained to do is get the wholesale trend on the directional price movement that LinkedIn will, do, will, will, will trade with. So once again, we're going to be using the 185 put, which is now in the money, LinkedIn. One of the other things that we would, you know, so we're going to use the 185 put. And on the flip side of LinkedIn, when it pulls back, and we traded lots of calls, but right now we're overbought, and this is the weekly distribution. That's why that put side works, MMT, and our traders around the world. One of the things that I would love to show you here is if I can get my chart data, our uh, option data, We will also take a look here of where the 175 call is. The 175 call was extremely overbought. They hit a high of the weekly level of 850 and the weekly low was a dollar 64. And the call side is inflated up here based on the overbought weekly movement in LinkedIn. And yes, we have room to come down. The high was 180.66 on Friday. So once again, as the calls come all the way down in value, we will have the 175 call. Here is what the 175 call did on 316 monthly expiration, 228, 550 down, had a $3.20 range. They had marked them down. The weekly one that we're looking at, like I said, is this one. They're 4,663 on the high. So when these get marked all the way back down in value of that 175 calendar 322, 175 call, we'll look and see how this overbought LinkedIn acts at very, and this is a weekly reversal in play. So the support levels are down here. There's a weekly half bar. It's going to come in right there at about 165. That's that lower support level. 175, if it breaks it, we trade on down lower. It will work this overbought level off on LinkedIn, and that is the trade management moving forward. Next week will be extremely volatile. One of the things I'd like to point out, it finally had some people taking some profit. $107 million came out of this name. And this is the trade management on LinkedIn. The 185 put in the money and the 175 call in the money. 185 put 322. We'll take a look and see how these calls can get on sell. Just remember one thing. MMT, as you're taught how to be a market maker on both sides of the market as a buyer and a seller. LinkedIn is coming down.